been kind of incredible to witness just the ability to have space to have really honest and frank conversations. I think as a group, there's five of us and we're all coming um, into this space from different positionalities and different identities. And I think leaving titles aside, I think being able to really approach this work with a sense of just vulnerability and honesty has been instrumental in helping us kind of unpack some of these kind of tougher and harder conversations and also um, work through also some of the complex emotions that come with it, such as the defensiveness and the discomfort. And I think being able to kind of do that as a team has been instrumental to this work. I um, will say in terms of just uh, working together, I think it's also allowed us to kind of identify some uh, some focus areas for ourselves and kind of admit that maybe we're not as far along as we thought we were, and that's okay. Um, and really thinking about just actionable strategies for how we take our learnings and kind of bring them back to the organization um, and put them into practice. And um, I will say probably the biggest kind of impact, at least for me personally, is that I mentioned that we are a philanthropy serving organization. And I really thank Nikki, Kay, and, and Juan for helping us think through this process is that we can help to kind of cultivate our internal equity journey while also doing our external work as well. And so it's not necessarily an either or or a zero sum game. Um, but really thinking about how we continue to grow as an organization and not make an excuse for why we can't do this work or why we can't engage this work. I think for the self-accountability piece, I think it's um, the way that I see it is just part of like, really how do I want to lead in the world? And I think that for me, like focusing on that lens is while my access to to decision making isn't um I don't have necessarily clear access to it I think I do have access to how I show up into spaces and really how do I embody racial equity for myself and that means also doing the hard work in terms of looking at my kind of internal biases and um the ways in which I engage in this work and so I think for me it's also just pulling from just existing resources out there and we want to create shared ownership in this work so that way this work survives beyond just any one person um and so I think for us that was really important and I think it it's given us also just clear focus I think from having doing the pulse check assessment to the learning agenda template it's given us some kind of target areas to focus on I think for our team we identified that we just kind of want to start with the senior level level lever and as well as the um, learning environment lever just to kind of establish a shared base of understanding and um, knowing that to not overwhelm ourselves, knowing that it can be overwhelming to engage in this work and knowing where to start, that those would be two kind of concrete areas where we can just kind of make sure we're kind of continuing to push the needle and moving this work forward. And so I think that that's been very instrumental. And in, I would say for the cohort itself and the structure, I think being able to discuss, be in community with other like-minded peers across other organizations and learning from each other's successes and, and um, current challenges is really empowering to be in this space and really being able to learn from each other. And also just unpack um, questions that we have and things that we're struggling with and and have it be a resource. I think it's been very, very instrumental to to our organization and our growth.